Hi friends, it's Em, and today we are back setting up my reading bullet journal for April. No matter how many times I accidentally wrote March in this spread, it is for April. <laughs> I am doing a bookish theme, which, you know, is, is kind of leaning towards my norm. Uh, I'm using these papers that I bought from Etsy for our wedding. We were gonna make like centerpieces, but we ultimately, you know, didn't because we were busy with other stuff. So now I just have a pile of like dictionary pages and sheet music that I can use for journaling, which is pretty dang cool. I'm also using stickers from Archer and Olive, uh, as well as some washi tape. One of them, I don't know where it's from. The other one is from Notebook Therapy. I, I have missed my book journal a lot. I have not been, <laughs> I have not been vigilant at keeping up with it. I generally speaking have been coming home from work and falling asleep, <sighs> but I have been reading. I've been reading a lot. I, I don't know how many books I've read in March, but I have been enjoying myself. I've been like getting real snuggly with my Libby. I've been reading a whole bunch of books that are not on my TBR <laughs> and trying to get through just some of the physical books that I have so that if I don't like them, I don't have to move them. <laughs> we are closing on a house next week, which is super exciting. And it's probably all I'm going to be talking about until we actually like move in. Honestly, just so excited to get like a new craft space and home office set up as well as a library, which is really just going to be our guest room. But like, we don't really have guests very often. So it's going to be the reading room and it was going to happen to have a bed in it. That's sort of where we're living on that. I'm really excited, like just for the whole idea of it. But at the same time, I'm dreading actually packing up all the stuff and moving man. It's going to be for audiobooks. I'm going to be like, as soon as we close, I'm going to be getting some audiobooks and thinking about what things we have to like take ourselves versus what things we're going to have our friends do with the, uh, we're having a packing party. <laughs> so we're like going to be feeding them and hope, help, hoping that they help us move. But yeah, so a lot of my March TBR has not happened. Part of it is just because work has been so stressful. And then the other part of it is that I know that a lot of these books are going to be sad. So like, Here We Go Again by Alison Cochran. I have heard so many people say that it made them like sob. So I'm going to wait until after my big important work meeting to start that one. <laughs> like, honestly, I started a, uh, a series of fluffy novellas uh, by Denise Williams that I'm hope I'm hoping aren't as like hard hitting as how to fail at flirting was because <laughs> that that one hurt that one hurt a a lot I also have kind of abandoned my um, book no spend a little bit like just a teensy bit so um, my book mail page is also gonna be my purchases page because I got I had a little uh, insert that I was using to track what books I had bought over the year, but I've already gotten tired of doing it. <laughs> so maybe doing it on a monthly basis where I'm going to see an empty spread and want to fill it in versus like a little card. Maybe that'll help. I, I have also just been going wild on NetGalley because so I've been reading a bunch of backlist titles, which do not count for my net galley ratio. Um, and I also haven't been writing my reviews. Erg. <laughs> but like, at the same time, I'm not worried. I, it, like, it's, I'm an adult. I don't, you know, I did 22 years of school. So I, I'm over having homework. <laughs> I'm not gonna guilt myself about not reading my net galley shelf. However, I have been doing a good job of like, you know, for book clubs and reading those books and for Joyful Chaos, you know, reading the books before we have the chat. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, now, if I look back at my, at my March 
net galley tracker, which I, again, I haven't really filled out. It's like double. I've acquired like double what I've reviewed. So that, that's about where we're at. <laughs> I also have really been enjoying the reading logs um, just as kind of like a hand lettering practice zone, I have not filled out my March reading log. I think I'm going to make a reel about it because I want to, a lot of people to be like, oh, how do you hand letter? And I was like, oh, okay, well now we can have a dual purpose sort of situation going on. But I think it's really cute. I also just like, there's, I noticed recently that when I'm making my spreads, I, I really enjoy a lot of symmetry. So like if you see if I put washi in the bottom left hand corner, I'm probably going to put washi in the upper right hand corner. And that's just kind of how, that's just kind of how it goes for me. That's sort of, that, that's how we're, that's how we do, <laughs> so to speak. And it's, it's really simple, right? I don't want I don't like my reading journal to be complicated. I like it to be easy and comforting and just like make me happy, get the spreads done really quick so that I can get to reading and writing because that's sort of like my, my happy place. I will say that I am absolutely doing the thing where for my April TBR, I start reading some of my April TBR in March. <laughs> Because that way I can check, I can check it off. So like, for example, I'm currently reading Love and Other Flight Delays. I'm really enjoying it. It's really cute. Um, but I completely forgot that I put that on my April TBR. I'm also going to be um, listening probably pretty soon to Nosy Neighbors, which is like a, it's like a cozy mystery, I think. I'm not really sure. It's British. You can tell that it's British. Well, actually, no, I guess I was going to say because I spell it with an S instead of a Z, but that is actually how you spell nosy. I just, I am so tired. <laughs> it's also going to be a really fantasy heavy month for me this April. So we have um, a letter to the luminous deep, which I think is more of a cozy fantasy versus goddess of the river is going to be like a mythological retelling, which... I'm very excited for it. It's by the same author who did Kaikei. Uh, but it's going to be a big, thick book. And I'm going to be struggling through it a little bit. In Similar with the mythology, we also have Sound the Gong, which is the second in a duology. The, it's, the first one was uh, Strike the Zither, I believe. So that's like a whole bunch of uh, fantasies. I also believe I, I have... Ha a house like an accordion, which I don't know what this book is about at all. I just really liked the cover and it, I, I think at the time it sounded cool. I could not tell you what it's about now. Similar to that is the Ministry of Time, which I think this one is more sci-fi for sure because it involves time travel and like I've been in, I've, you know, when people are like, oh, I'm in a silly, goofy mood. I'm like, well, I'm in a sci-fi fantasy mood. <laughs> and I've also been like weirdly feeling lit thick lately. I don't know. I don't know who I am because for my real life book club, I, I try to make sure that we read half romance, half not romance. Because, you know, the okay, the, in my opinion, the point of book club is to read some books you wouldn't normally read. And everyone there would normally read romance. They would be completely happy if we only read romance the entire time. And I'm like, okay, but like, I like to read some things that aren't romance. And so some of our, you know, some of the people's favorite books that we've read have been cozy fantasies or thrillers or sort of things. And like, if we hadn't really pushed for that, I don't think we would have read them. So I'm all, almost all of the books that I have on my list are lit fic for whatever reason. Cause I want uh, Such a Fun Age by Kelly Reed. Cause I, you know, I want to read that for a reading challenge. I also put Severance on there, which I don't know what it's about. It's pretty short, which I think people will like. It has a pink cover. Other people will like that. <laughs> And then on my just kind of like personal list, which I'm probably going to do all three of these on audio, 
Um, so there's Nosy Neighbors, right? Which I talked about a little bit already, which is going to be like a British cozy mystery. There's Happy Medium, which I think is going to be some kind of like paranormal romance. It's by uh, Sarah Adler, who she wrote Mrs. Nash's Ashes, which was some of the funniest shit that I have read in a long time. Uh, and then there's Kill For Me, Kill For You, which is sort of like strangers on a train. Essentially like, you know, uh, kill, killing someone for someone sort of situation. And I'm really excited. There's also um, a thriller, which I think I'm probably going to end up snagging the audio for, uh, is The Return of Ellie Black. And so this is by Emiko Jean, and she has done so many different genres. She started with like the Tokyo Ever After series, which is a very like YA contemporary fluffy romance sort of thing. And then she moved over to uh, Mika in real life, which felt more lit thick y. Um, and then there's this one, which is like a mystery thriller. I'm just like, this girl can do no wrong. I like, I love her writing style and I'm just real, I'm really excited for it. Like really, really excited. So I'm hoping that I can snag the audio for that in April. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it'll be available on Libro FM through Simon Audio. Uh, and then review thread, April in review. I, the, this is one of my favorite things that we do each month and just like reviewing the progress that month, how we're doing on our various challenges, um, which I guess actually it would be it would be kind of fun if I noted like where how many prompts I had left for certain reading challenges. That could be cool. Um, I so for Bookopoly this year, I am struggling to find a book that's set at like a Renaissance fair that I haven't already read because <laughs> I don't I don't like to reread books often. I like to buy them and then give them to other people and then like talk about them with them. So then I, it kind of feels like I'm rereading a little bit, but that could be really fun. Sometimes I feel like I struggle to track like everything, but also struggle to think of things to put into the spread. I've also been doing, and I think I've been doing pretty well at making sure that I'm like getting towards 50% BIPOC authors. Last month I was at 48%, which I'm like, I'm not mad about. If if I want to get to on average 50% across the board, that means that some some of these months I'm gonna have to amp it up and get something like 60%. But here's the final flip through. I'm so excited. I love it so much. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you want to read in April. And as always, happy planning.